dear Sagittarius, this is a love reading for you where the person most on your mind will have their true thoughts and feelings revealed by me, Queen of Cups Tarot. We will also look into what they would tell you if they had the guts to tell you the truth with my deck, the Brutally Honest Oracle Cards. And as an extended member to my channel, you can get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to my channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check this out to the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. This will be a reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Sagittarius this will be a reading about what the person most on your mind are feeling for you and where their thoughts are at when it comes to you. This can often be a conflict between head and heart and it will be revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. For a cross watcher, this reading will most likely be about where the Sagittarius person's thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And I usually read for the empath side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. And for the readings part, I will use the Light Seer's Tarot by Chris Ann. Okay, when I open your deck here, I see the Ten of Pentacles together with the Six of Pentacles. So it's not uh, much this person wouldn't do uh, to be uh, an item with you. <laughs> that <it> rhymes. <laughs> okay, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Uh, they are willing to uh, come halfway and uh, make sacrifices and to compromise and to put in effort. So at least that's what they're telling me. Uh, I call the divine with love and light. And here we see the queen of pentacles with six of pentacles. It seems like this person have learned uh, self-love and realized that uh, the only way forward to a harmonious relationship is uh, if, it's, if we put uh, equal effort into our relationships. Uh, all people need to uh, put in effort. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is usually a person that puts in a lot of effort into uh, the relationship. And maybe previous, um, this person didn't ask for much in return. But um, I feel the table has uh, turned or the situation has changed. So now this person demands uh, equal treatment. And uh, this person is ready to give this. Uh, to you if you are the queen of pentacles in this story. So uh, I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and I'm laughing because first the queen of pentacles had their back turned towards the person that says oh okay we can do we can be in the relationship on equal terms and here she's kind of closing her eyes towards this person being on the outside and I'm feeling previous to this um, the Queen of Pentacles were able to see when other people were in need and she run around or he, this can be he as well, running around with the bouncy buns so that uh, to protect people. If they fall, uh, this person would catch them. But now it's like, uh, I don't care if you fall. I have done everything I was supposed to do. You gave me nothing in return. I run my legs off with this bouncy buns and... Uh, uh, you were never grateful. So you can fall or uh, sit outside my door as long as you want. I'm not going to pay any attention. Okay. <clears throat> so teaching the person a lesson, huh? <laughs> okay. So uh, six elements. Maybe I'm repeating myself. King of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, so King of Wands, in this case, I think it's uh, uh, Sagittarius, but um, it's um, usually Leo. You might be dealing with another fire sign. Uh, for example, a, a Leo. In this case, they are sitting outside your door. Uh, but this is just you wanting them to be able to uh, also take control over their own life, to put in good effort, to do um, 
healthy beautiful thing so that the relationship will work out you want the person to not be the baby where you need to run around with the bouncy bones whenever they do self-destructive things uh, maybe also destructive things towards you and the relationship you want them to become a grown-up person that can create uh, their own life from um, like a mental state of being wise and responsible okay uh, so uh, the table has really turned you're asking uh, of them what you gave them before okay so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Sagittarius viewers I want my dear Sagittarius to uh, have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path uh, towards your highest destiny. Okay. So, I'm just going to tune in for a few seconds uh, to you and uh, the person most on your mind and what this person thinks and feels when it comes to you and your relationship. So this is the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. And this is their feelings uh, towards you. And, and this is what's on their mind. So love. Um, they see things. Uh, they see va much more value in uh, your relationship now than what they did before. They see a value in love. Before they took it for granted, they made a laughing matter uh, out of it. Uh, that uh, anyone who felt love or um, that were loving towards other, it was a little bit ridiculous to them. But uh, now being without it, uh, it's not uh, that much of a laughing matter anymore. And uh, this is on their feelings level. And we have a nine of pentacles, which is Virgo, which is also queen of pentacles, is also... Uh, Virgo, I think by you being kind of the bird mother, kicking uh, the little um, bird <laughs> babies out of the nest, uh, you taught them how to fly, how to become a more responsible person, being able to take care of themselves and, and not uh, really running around doing uh, stupid things or destructive things or things that's the uh, opposite of um, trying to make healthy relationships before they did that so you would save them and give them a lot of love so they can feel babied by you and uh, then you kicked them out and they needed to learn to do this for themselves to do healthy things for themselves because no one else did it for them uh, so that was a part of uh, them growing and healing and uh, here we have the most likely action and we have an ace of wands here that's a very uh, intense energy uh, it's um, like the sun's rays in one spot from a magnifying glass uh, so it's very intense it's something that this person wants <laughs> they don't want to be kicked out of your house anymore and the magician so they're trying to figure out how to come inside your house after have been uh, kicked out <laughs> okay so uh, that's all um, they are very focused on that okay uh, so this is on their minds level and we have a king of swords here uh, together with the four of swords uh, so I think this person is very intelligent they just um, uh, didn't use this energy for doing good in the past and um, I feel they were becoming a little bit um, um, upset or like revolting uh, towards your conclusion that they should uh, um, apply themselves in an equal relationship uh, for some reason they felt it was beneath them and they didn't wanna um, they felt by uh, thinking that love and uh, being compassionate and other things were a little bit ridiculous um, they could sit uh, on their high horse a little bit uh, but this person is very intelligent and they just needed a little time uh, to change their mind here is what I'm feeling like being without you being a little bit sad, having a broken heart. Uh, so it's just a little bit stubbornness is what I'm feeling here. That they probably got uh, benefits from sitting on their high horse and acting like they didn't care. Uh, 
uh, that gave them like a sense of being superior and uh, you didn't w want to give them that feeling anymore because you didn't want them to be superior you wanted them to be equal and and here they um, uh, they didn't want to accept it but they couldn't also get what they got from you before uh, so they had to at least accept that that was a fact that you didn't give what you gave before and that they didn't get much benefit out of the situation as it was si uh, sitting on their high horses there. So Ace of Swords, after a time of thinking, they had a little bit of an epiphany. Um, Ace of Swords can also be messages, but I'm definitely feeling epiphany. <laughs> and here comes uh, in context with the Fool, it will be messages. Uh, so I would think that right now or pretty soon they would on a mind's level feel a higher and higher urge to uh, reach out to you and uh, to offer you you can see this person has a very open chest uh, so offering you their uh, open-hearted uh, epiphany <laughs> like i have seen the light i understand now what you wanted out of me i can see i was uh, obnoxious and Knight of Wands, so that comes a little bit with a little bit youthful courage as well. Um, like I feel the person is laughing and, and uh, feeling exhilarated. So they're probably going to try to charm you or try to win you over and try to uh, make you see things in a little bit hum humoristic kind of way. Uh, then... Uh, then with the <laughs> king of swords here so they might uh, make a, uh, a joke on their own expense or um, something similar to that something that gives you the win but still makes them uh, feel like um, a little bit cocky a little bit uh, charming a little bit like still on top of their game but um, anyway kind of giving in and giving you what you want uh, so that's what they plan on on a uh, mind level uh, they realize to have access to you they need to uh, put in uh, uh, more love and uh, um, come down from their um, idea of having to be superior and uh, giving you a lot of respect and uh, also uh, the the win a little bit <laughs> okay still having like their dignity intact but uh, giving you the win with maybe making a joke about how they acted before uh, so this is on a, a heart level i see the three of cups uh, together with the temperance card so that means that uh, in a big crowd of people uh, they would choose you uh, they would always choose you they are very passionate with you they feel at home with you you are very special to them you are the person they want to run to when they have something exciting to share they have then <laughs> they refuse that for a while uh, this is a very opposite energies um, running to you and uh, expressing that uh, you are the one and he is ignoring you trying to win over you stubbornly refusing to admit that you were right and they were wrong or that uh, you at least defer this <laughs> deserve equal treatment uh, here they their heart knows it probably knew it all along and with the eight of cups here um, comes underneath the ace of swords i'm feeling this uh, boomerang principle a person that walked away pride is uh, uh, kind of coming back the eight of cups is an eternity symbol if i would do reversals this card would probably come like so and that would mean um, they have had second thoughts and uh, they have seen the light and um, they have uh, things they would uh, want to do. I have to warn you though, since I'm not doing reversals, uh, this could also show uh, a person that um, they loved you great in the past and uh, they probably still do, but their stubbornness grows into... Uh, wanting to take revenge on you by getting someone new by being going out and trying to find someone new like the bumblebee or going from flower to flower like this uh, so we'll see with the rest of the cards we have the chariot here and together with the moon uh, so in their heart region they are a little bit more scared they want to uh, run after you making this couple whole the Jin and Jang and they're very determined of doing so 
um, uh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Cancer energy. Uh, so they really would want to come and run to you. This is also cancer energy. So showing vulnerability. It's just that they are super, super scared. So uh, on their minds level, they might want to go to you and uh, fix things with you and be the bigger person making the joke and um, like offering themselves up uh, on a silver platter. But since they are a little bit scared here in their heart, uh, feeling maybe a sense of not being worthy or not being loved or that you probably have moved on without them. There's a big distance between you here. Uh, it might be that the person will want to have you, but uh, they will decide that that's impossible. You wouldn't want them. You wouldn't be able to forgive them. You don't love them anyway. You have moved on with someone else. Uh, and they would, uh, they would want to replace you with another person, but I don't think they are able to. They would just feel more sad for trying. Um, okay, feeling more sad for trying. Okay, so this is the person's, like this conclusion is very good. It would lead to positive changes, but their heart is still scared of being vulnerable or to, there was a reason why they sat on their high horse. It was for a fear of vulnerability. So they always wanted to come on top on winning, being superior. So they never had to be the one that's, uh, that was left behind or this person can have abandonment issues. And therefore, um, doing this is very scary for them. They would need to have, like, be, uh, make it into a laughing matter to uh, not show how scared they are or remain looking cool. Uh, but really, this person is very scared. It's not more scared than, like, the usual person, but it's what's preventing them from doing this thing that would be really cool, okay? Uh, that would be able to prevent them. <laughs> I'm not seeing, I haven't seen to the end just yet. So here we have the world card. Uh, so again, uh, 21, 2 plus 1, 3, 3. Uh, this is also connected to the Empress. Um, they admit here that um, they can't be superior, live on their high mountain in uh, Himalaya without you. They would need the uh, like the flowers and the owl and the food and the nature and the feminine aspect as well. They can't live in an ice tower. Um, and um, so they, they say that, yes, you are important. I, wouldn't, I didn't want to admit it, but you are the most important thing for me in the entire world. And that's how it is. So they know this for themselves. Um, we'll see if they will have the guts to share it as well. Ace of Pentacles, that's very vulnerable. Um, with the Temperance card, it's a very, it's an alchemic wedding, very strong attraction towards you. And here's the stubbornness trying to, uh, trying to deny that attraction. But in the end, it's, it's you. So they can't deny it. They would want to, to stay safe in the bird's nest here, not being thrown out by you, learning how to fly, getting their own wings. Uh, so they wouldn't, they didn't want to do that, but they wanted to stay in this dynamic where uh, you were saving them, saving them, saving them from themselves. And you take hit after hit from them where they kind of disrespected you or didn't love, uh, show enough love towards you. And then you refused and they got their wings off their own, but they're very vulnerable. It's um, like oh, uh, shivering in their knees, uh, knees and being really scared. So here we can see the two of wands, they're uh, postponing reaching out. They dream about reaching out. They dream about coming back to you, telling you the truth, uh, maybe um, practicing in front of the mirror what they would say, uh, how they would make a joke out of it, how they would uh, go get you to laugh instead of being angry with them, how you, they would make you forgive them and make make you kind of soften up so they would have access to you again but it's very it's nervous uh, nervous energy here and um, so they feel worthless basically with the eight of cups they don't think uh, they can just come and uh, and you would love them that you love them back um, they think that you have seen right to them and what you have seen was very ugly and you would never want to be with them again uh, so that's it. So they think they had you fooled before they think <laughs> and then you, you weren't fooled anymore and now you have seen them so you wouldn't want to be with them. 
but I think you were never fooled. You just loved this fool <laughs> a lot and you let them act out their way because it was a little bit cute, but eventually got tired of it because yes, it was cute, but you also hoped for some kind of maturity to happen. And when it didn't happen, you kind of, ugh, I'm done with it. Uh, so uh, you were never fooled. <laughs> it's just uh, what they believe. Uh, King of Pentacles. Yes, I think this is you nowadays that uh, you are not fooled. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I definitely feel that you have learned to love yourself. You have integrated your feminine side, your masculine side inside of yourself and this scares this person because they make you a high value person and they don't feel like a high value person see if this can develop yes four of wands okay so it skips a little bit into the future and saying that you feel like this high value person and um, something will happen between you in that dynamic that will make them feel invited in um, maybe maybe they will come like with this uh, knees um, um, you know shaking like this and uh, look very nervous and with a tear in their eye because they they couldn't um, when they stood outside their do your door they couldn't really remember the joke anymore and uh, then you just took them in and you were oh nice of you to come by i missed you and then you are together that's kind of what i'm seeing so and then they feel great okay they feel good they feel like they belong there um so it can also um, that's one thing i'm seeing for some of you it might be that they muster up enough this is um, a major kind of card they muster up uh, up enough of strength to kind of um, you know fake it till you make it okay so this person has become a high value highly a person that has high self-respect so I'll also present myself as that person and uh, then uh, they will see I have changed and they will invite me in uh, so that can also be uh, what's going on uh, but it doesn't come without fear but there's a scenario where this person might um, uh, overwind their fear and just act in the way that you have expected of them all along like just a calm equal no fuss no jokes no superior actions uh, games plays things like this so they feel like they were always serious about you they just kept themselves aloof to uh, put themselves in this safe position where they wouldn't get hurt so easily um, because they were scared of being used uh, I don't think you are a user kind of person and they were so scared of being used that they kind of used you. Um, so it's often like that. It's the nine of wands dynamic. It's the Sagittarius energy actually that you learn to protect yourself so much that you uh, start to do the same thing towards others. Uh, so you got hurt a lot and eventually you close your heart and you hurt other people because you act like you don't care. As so I think this was what this person did. How can I ever pay you back? Yeah, they are trying to figure out how to make themselves worthy again in your eyes. And King of Pentacles, I guess, is the plan. They are going to try, try something brave. Try to be the person that you asked for. Hopefully they remember all the things that you said. So, And, and this is how they are planning to pay you back. Some of them won't succeed. So they will come uh, with this uh, more vulnerable look and uh, I think it will lead to the same result and uh, maybe it will be even a greater win if the person doesn't have to um, you know act like this very uh, like the person being in full control uh, if they could offer up a little bit more uh, vulnerability like what they really feel here with the full eight of cups and ace of pentacles and show you their true self uh, I think that would be better, but they probably don't realize that just yet. So uh, this is what you would want to say. Uh, I think about you every day. Uh, so you're still um, feeling this person, even if you might have, there might be a distance <laughs> as of now. I was never good enough for you. I think you were. It was just this person didn't feel worthy of you and even less now, but they are going to try to be worthy of you. So you were good enough, they just didn't want to show it because that made them vulnerable. 
uh, I'm walking through the dark night of my soul. Um, I think you both do in a sense and it's good for you because hitting rock bottom uh, then you make uh, things um, uh, as they are. You see things as they are. You admit to okay this is rock bottom. This is what happened. This is how my life is. It didn't become in the way I hoped and uh, these things happen instead and if we can accept that uh, we can start anew and much more true to ourselves and others that's why this energy if this they could come with this energy instead uh, and admit to the moon that would be better because then they don't have to do the dark night of the soul over and over again until they come to that place and uh, there was a lack of attraction i think you feel that this person didn't love you enough uh, because they came out like this and uh, it's like they didn't care what you did what you said uh, if you were with them if you weren't with them and uh, you, you you interpret that as a lack of attraction but it was really just fear um, and um, so you feel that uh, they, you were never good enough and there was they didn't love you and therefore you're walking through the dark night of your soul kind of you had to at least you had to at admit that you didn't feel loved by this person and you kicked them out of the nest and that's why they got wings to fly and now they can come back to you as a, a better person so i will see what the divine would want to say uh, about this relationship or the outcome for this relationship this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek and we have another card sticking out and it's uh, forgiving and learning. So you have this left to do in this relationship. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Um, so forgiving is going to be crucial here with the King of Cups and the Four of Wands. Outcome means marriage. It means uh, being together with a person you love and, and having the time of your life. Like a little bit happily ever after <laughs> for a while at least. Until Five of Wands comes and you start to argue about uh, new kitchen doors or <laughs> something else. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to take an advice card from the Wisdom of the House of Night. Rigid. <laughs> okay. I'm um, thinking this is, again, we're talking about this person. But since Sagittarius is Nine of Wands, it can be talking about you as well. So if you recognize yourself, take the advice. If you recognize the other person, then you know what, what they are going to and what they will have to do before they can come back to you as the king of pentacles here king of pentacles is capricorn energy here we have aquarius so air um earth and we also have fire sagittarius sagittarius and cancer water sagittarius there as well cancer uh, okay uh, is there a stone wall that stands between you and others uh, we can see uh, it's kind of a description of the uh, king of wands here <laughs> so rigid um, uh, Queen, King of Wands is not a bad person. It's just when they use their um, their intelligence to win over others or act superior that there's a problem. Um, is there a stone wall that stands between you and another? Uh, could that wall be inside of you? Now is the time to become more flexible and to drop your rigid expectations of yourself and especially others. Don't be afraid to do drop your guard a little too. If you are willing to let others in, you will see a benefit in these connections. Another meaning here is that you recognize the wall that others may have put up. Don't take it personally if they won't let you in. This is their way of uh, coping and it has little to do with you. So, uh, it's so beautiful. I, I want to cry a little bit. <laughs> so, this um, is really what we saw here with the moon that uh, it has nothing to do with you. It's... It's not that you were not good enough. It's not that there was a lack of attraction. The person had their personal reasons for uh, acting this scared, putting a distance uh, between themselves and other people with a wall around their heart. Uh, so I will show this uh, from an above perspective. And I would urge you to watch the reading. What do they want to happen between you two to get more informa um, information about the situation or the love reading for May? Um, or June actually that will show both of your opinions sorry you can also watch the true thoughts and feelings from the previous month which will be the energy right now and this uh, reading is often a prediction for 
into the future. You will see them in the end screen. You can see this uh, uh, suggestions for these readings. And um, uh, if you become an extended member to the channel, you can get all readings ahead of time and with no ads. And I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to my channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check this out to the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. I'm sorry for the phone. I had to have it on because I'm expecting a call. And um, uh, I want to say that I, <laughs> I love you very much. And I want you to have a wonderful week until we see each other next week again. Okay, take care and bye bye.